I'm taking a week off of social media to see if it'll make me more productive. Some people take breaks for their mental health or maybe they're burnt out creatively or maybe they're just on their phone too much. And you can find plenty of videos all over YouTube where people share their experience. My personal goal is to be more productive, not in the hustle culture meaning of the word, but just by not doom scrolling and just being more in the moment of whatever's going on. Because sometimes that looks like I'm working on something and other times it might just be relaxing. Here are all the social media apps that I currently have on my phone. And according to my phone, my average screen time last week was five hours and 47 minutes minutes, which isn't super terrible because I know it's been worse, but I never really cared to pay attention to it. And when you dive a little deeper, that's when you'll see which apps you use the most or even how often you just pick up your phone. I know you may know this already, but if you were to check your screen time right now on your phone, would you be surprised? Be honest. Now I could do the easy thing and just delete all the apps off of my phone. What I ended up doing was I left the apps on my phone and I turned off all notifications and reduced the allotted time for each app to one minute since that's the lowest that it would let me do. I also didn't delete all of them because some of them I'm logged into multiple accounts, some that deal with work and I, there's a whole process of just trying to log back in to get access to it and I don't wanna have to deal with all that. Don't worry though, I'm gonna be fully transparent about my whole process. So interesting enough, last night the SIM card in my phone just stopped working for some reason, so I didn't have any cellular service. This obviously helped, but it was kind of bad because like Abigail, would, if she needed to contact me, she, there was no way to do it unless I was connected to Wi-Fi. I will say the best part about that, I was, I was just kind of forced to just be in the moment with whatever I was doing or wherever I was, and I was able to just focus on what was going on because I couldn't really do anything else. And I will say I've been drinking this thing called Magic Mind, which is a mental performance shot, and it's been helping me think better and faster while reducing stress because as my grandma used to say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. I don't think she's actually ever said that in her life. But Magic Mind is just an addition to my daily routine and it's 100% safe, validated by doctors, had over 200 scientific studies, has the highest possible graded matcha and it's a long-term game, meaning that you're not gonna just take this for the first time and feel all the effects. It's gonna take some time. Magic Mind actually sent me some shots beforehand, so I was drinking this a couple days before this challenge even started. I personally wanna be as focused as possible, so if you wanna go try it for yourself, go to magicmind.com backslash rally, or click the link in the description and try it for yourself. What's interesting is that even though I had Magic Mind keeping me focused and my phone's like sort of working, I still, out of pure muscle memory, I intended to check my email and I opened up, I think it was Instagram, so to prevent that from happening again, I removed all the apps from my home screen because for some reason I didn't think that would happen. Today I was feeling it. Like your boy here was feeling productive and I was ready to go. Even when I was doing some work at my desk, I noticed that I kept going with no problem because usually, you know, I would take a break or I would need to check social media to like intended to get something. But then you know how it goes, you get distracted and then like 10 minutes goes by, maybe even 20 minutes hour for some people and then you just end up getting off track i think the thing that i'm realizing more and more is how often i browse my phone during the dead time periods of the day meaning like those time periods where you don't necessarily need to be doing anything or they're just too short to actually start something that you need to be doing like this morning for example i woke up and started doing what i needed to do to start my day whereas before i would check all the apps and their notifications and maybe end up doom scrolling for about 10 minutes before my responsibilities kicked in or another example is when i let our dogs outside or even when I'm waiting on my son's bottle to warm up. Even in the first day, it was a little eye-opening to see how I spent my time throughout the day by not doing something that I do throughout the day. It also did help that my, like for half of the day, my phone was still kind of like unusable. But once I got it fixed, that's when like all the random notifications came in. I'm talking like ESPN, Target, Gmail. And I was genuinely like, dang, I actually enjoyed my phone not going off all the time. It was like a mini vacay. Like I didn't have any kind of immediate responsibilities or I had a legitimate reason as to why I couldn't call somebody back or text them back or answer them immediately. I will say, I know I accidentally opened Facebook, but I immediately closed it and then I immediately got frustrated with myself. Support your local Taco Bell. I've noticed a few things so far. I feel like I'm not wasting as much time because I'm not getting distracted as much as I normally am. And I also feel like I'm not as tired as I normally am. Still getting the same amount of sleep, like the six to seven hours of sleep or whatever, but that like two to four o'clock afternoon period, I don't feel tired like I usually do. Now I do credit Magic Mind, but it could also be the fact that because I'm not looking at my phone as much, I'm not having that screen eye strain or whatever on my eyes. And so maybe that has some kind of effect of my non-tiredness, or maybe it's a blend of the two. I, I, I don't know. What app on your phone do you think you use the most? And how often do you think you use your phone? 
Uh, I know that I'm somewhere around two hours a day on screen time. Oh yeah, check it right now. <laughs> oh. oh, screen time. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Three max. Oh, let's see it. Oh, ooh, three. Is that just today, or is that? It says oh. daily average. Okay. Hour and thirty. On what YouTube? Yeah. Hey man. Two. How? What was I watching? Do you watch it on your phone? Do you watch it at night? Yeah, at night. Like, to go to sleep? Yeah. Use your iPad? iPad. And I have two iPads. See? So, so, th so wait, there's a way to break the system, okay? You have you have your phone content time. Right. You have your iPad time. Now, someone like me, I have an iPad mini that I'll use next to my bed, but I'll also watch YouTube videos on my iPad Pro. Right. And those are probably also low, but... You can spread out. You gotta add them all up. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> yes. It, it's kind of like don't put all your eggs in one basket. You mean all your time in one basket? Don't put all your time in a basket. So really, it's probably five hours, just like mine. No. What? Don't equate no. me. No. <laughs> no. Your phone. If your phone is what was it? Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. No more than two. And then you watch YouTube on. You gotta have that. But is YouTube considered social media? That's oh, a whole gosh. other video. That's a whole That's a whole other other. My day job involves me working with cameras and such. And so we were talking about like, where do you draw the line with social media and YouTube? Because we have cases where we need to look at a video to figure out how to use it, a piece of equipment or how to do this or that. Or if we are considering buying something, we need to research that thing. So what we decided was that as long as you're not watching for entertainment purposes and reading or responding to comments, then you're good. Because we all know how easy it is to go down the YouTube rabbit hole. I mean, what do you think though? You can apply the same concept to Instagram and TikTok, but it's not the same in my opinion. Does YouTube count as social media just as much as the others? I mean, either way, YouTube and YouTube Studio are two of the apps that I've been avoiding. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I really need to go get my hair done. Cause it is atrocious. On my journey of being more focused, I unfortunately didn't get to take my magic mind shot until later in the morning, but I still took it. But you know those moments where like your poor planning comes back to bite you? Well, as I'm making this video, my previous video is scheduled to upload this Saturday. And in that video, I said this. So if you wanna see that video and how it came out, head on over to my Instagram or TikTok to see it. Also, let me know that you came from YouTube. The issue is I didn't edit that social media video until this week, so what I did was screen record to show you that all I did was go and upload and schedule my Instagram post. For further proof, you'll see that this video was three and a half minutes long and my screen time shows that I was on Instagram for three minutes, no browsing included. And honestly, I didn't really have a desire to. Uh, just realized I didn't upload it to TikTok. All right, not gonna do that probably. What's interesting though is uh, I've been able to just focus a lot more on things. And you know, I do credit the magic mind to that some. And you might be thinking like, how does social media affect your running? Well, I think just like not worrying about things and just my mind being clear or more clear like even something as small as like, you know, after I run, I usually post it on Strava or in one of my running groups, but somehow that's making me not worry about my pace so much. And maybe that's gonna make me train better just for this upcoming week. And hopefully I carry that on like later on, but wow, that was really loud. Does that make sense? I'm out of breath trying to explain this. <laughs> There are things that I could have done to make this process easier, like watching TV shows or playing video games. But the reality is I did this to be more productive and sometimes while I'm watching TV, I'll be on my phone thinking I can multitask when in reality, I'll end up missing what was said or happened. I won't even like be on social media or anything, but I'm, it's just another moment where I realize how often I use my phone. And this shouldn't be amazing, but it's just, it is, but it's also interesting. I will say the hardest thing about today was knowing that my scheduled video went public and not looking to see how it was doing or if it had any comments. I mean, it was really, it's a good thing, really, if you think about it. We're gonna go mic in the hand for the last day, which wasn't that bad, to be honest. I wasn't really eager for the day to end or anything. But as I went through the day, I was just thinking of how this will hopefully impact me as the days go on and things go back to normal. And I'm not doing this for a video or anything. I have a better mindset of how much I spend or waste my time 
and you pair that with something like Magic Mind, my focus went through the roof. <laughs> Don't forget, if you want to try Magic Mind to increase your mental performance, go to magicmind.com backslash rally and get you some, okay? Here are my official screen time stats overall, and here are the stats for each social media app. Also, I think this was the first time in a very, 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 very long time, or if ever, that my screen time has been lower than Abigail's. That's my wife. I think on average, it takes 21 days to develop a habit. And even though this wasn't 21 days, the past seven days, I realized some things that I could change in my own life regarding my phone and just being in the moment and being aware or just being more present. I would encourage you to take a step back, maybe do something similar or the exact same thing and let me know how it goes. Yeah. Sunday morning views quickly turns to afternoons. It's like that I can barely go and catch it. Kinda how I feel with you.